Right, welcome ladies and gents, it looks like Marvel is broke, or at the very least counting their dollar bills, whereas before, it was just they making it rain all over the place. They could not care what they were doing. And now this comes when Mark Ruffalo has basically come out and said, we won't be getting a standalone Hulk film because it is too expensive. It's too expensive, that's why they only use me sparingly. Funny that they spent loads of money on a She-Hulk series then. Weird. Uh, and also, another reason why the Marvel TV shows are now focusing on ground-level heroes. Because they're cheap. So Marvel is cheapening out. Ah, uh, you couldn't write this stuff. You really couldn't. Goodness me. So, hit subscribe if you're new here, guys. Turn the bell notifications on. Let's take a look. Also, check out MrHShop.com. You can find the link down below. You can cop yourself some great merch, uh, courtesy of moi. Anyway, so here you have initial thing. Marvel broke, can't afford a Hulk movie. Again, I, I've got to remind you guys that this is actually coming from the horse's mouth himself. Uh, Mark Ruffalo has quite literally come out and said this. So, yeah, interesting. So, uh, Cosmic Book News Marvel insiders continue to be right on the money. They previously told Cosmic Book News that you know, Marvel was broke, which is why interns, interns, did all the posters for the Marvel's movie. Interns did it. That's why they look terrible. Uh, so now Mark Ruffalo has basically revealed that Marvel can't do a standalone movie because it would be too expensive. Yep. Uh, again, we... <laughs> Even Cosmic News points this out. It's hilarious to think. Because Disney coughed up $300 million for the Marvels. They got some of that back. Um, but there's still insane amounts of money. Uh, about $400 million for Indiana Jones 5. They got some of that back. Still insane amount of money. $200 million each for Secret Invasion and She-Hulk. They got none of that back. Maybe a little bit, but they still wouldn't have made any money. Uh, yeah, crazy. $1.1 billion spent on four projects and all of them were terrible. Disney has confirmed that the Marvels lost them $200 million. Indiana Jones, that lost ridiculous sums of money. Um, She-Hulk, that didn't make anything and was a, an epic failure. So much so that they've said, no, we're not going to make season two. Secret Invasion, I mean, they're literally trying to forget that ever existed. So, yeah, basically, Marvel is broke, hence in turn to doing poster art for MCU. And then we have the confirmation from Mark Ruffalo himself. So, thanks to the big failures, a standalone Hulk movie isn't going to happen. Aside from whatever may be going on with the rights regarding Universal Pictures, Mark Ruffalo has recently been addressing Hulk in the MCU and been told not to speak about it, which is hilarious. So, he spoke to GQ and he said, look, I'd love to do a standalone Hulk. I just don't think that's ever going to happen. Uh, it's very expensive if you did a whole movie, which is why they used the Hulk so sparingly. I priced myself out. So, that's a combination of his fees, which will obviously, you know, it's like a, a tiered system, linearly progresses as they go from contract to contract. Uh, but also, he's literally saying, yeah, it'd be too expensive. That's why, that's why they don't see me anymore. <laughs> Absolutely outrageous. So funny. So, so funny. Disney spent over a billion dollars on garbage movies. But they can't make a standalone Hulk film. Uh, this this article wrongly says, which if done, right, if, if done right, would be as big as the big guy himself. I doubt it, to be fair. Uh, mainly because of how bad Mark Ruffalo is in... in sort of public life, what he sort of says about things and how he conducts himself. I, th I don't think that would be that successful. Uh, and then just to top it off, Marvel is now focusing on uh, grounded, less expensive TV shows because they literally don't have the money. Which, you know what, Like I'm not going to rag on them for this. Well, I'm going to rag on them in general because it's funny. But for this one in particular, this makes sense, but it's also what they should have done from the start. Like, what were you doing, you morons? Why were you spending $250 million on a series that doesn't make you anything? 
Like, what are you actually thinking? It's so stupid. God, it has to be money laundering at this time. So now they've gone, uh, yeah, we've got no money. Uh, we've, we've got to focus on garbage. We're not, well, not necessarily. Well, we'll be garbage under Disney. I'll stand by that. Garbage TV shows. So um, Daniel RPK has basically said, yeah, Marvel is focusing on more grounded TV shows. What grounded really means is less expensive. And that's why Hollywood loves to put out grounded cop shows because they're super cheap to make and people eat them up. Um, you know, Disney... $200 million for six episodes of Secret Invasion. $200 million for nine episodes of She-Hulk. Uh, you know, True Detective, for instance, cost $32 million for an entire season. $4 million an episode rather than 10 odd million, 12 odd million, whatever, 15 odd million. That's just insane. So Grounded is cheaper, obviously. TV show budgets can vary. With typical network shows being cheaper compared to their cable or streaming counterparts. So, you know, if the TV show becomes popular, that affects the budget, higher pay for actors, etc. Uh, but like CI CSI, it's like a budget of a million dollars or even three an episode. I mean, it's nothing. 23 million to 69 million a season. Absolutely nothing. Uh, and this is the tweet. Marvel not developing too many live action shows at the moment. Focusing on animated stuff and live action movies. Next live action shows we'll get from them. Will be more grounded. Yeah, cheap. Absolutely cheap. Which makes sense. Again, you know, if you if you are actually in charge of this stuff, that's what you want to do. Like, why would you not do that? It makes sense to do that. I mean, but the thing is, they're not even good. Right, Echo is uh, terribly rated. MCU's lowest budget yet. Terribly rated. Daredevil does not look particularly great either. So... Yeah, not good, actually. Not good at all. Um, and we can say we can say Daredevil's not going to be particularly great uh, when you have a look at the likes of this. Uh, sorry, what's this? This, this? this is Bullseye in Born Again. What is this? What on earth is this? Uh... So yeah, Marvel, going cheap. What's that? What's what's that? What's that saying? Go work, go broke. <laughs> I mean, let me know what you think down below. Uh, this is funny, absolutely hilarious. But they never should have been spending that money. This is the thing. Like, I'm laughing at it, but you've got to think they never should have been spending that money on these series to begin with. What are you doing, spending two hundred million dollars on six episodes? Are you insane? What are you doing? It's it's, it's insanity. It never should have been that much money. Anyway, thoughts? Bye-bye now.